Scott, and I'm Mattel, and welcome back to The Ramsey Show. First, there's going to be the question of the week, which is, if you can live in any TV show or movie, which one would it be? And then interview with Miss Sawyer. And then after that, the Rams update with Amy and Lila. And we have a special how-to this week, which is how to make milkshakes. My milkshakes ringing on the bus. Now for question of the week. Which is, if you could live in any TV show or movie, which one would it be? Alright, what movie or TV shows would you like to live in? Who liars? What movie or TV show would you like to, would you like to live in? I would like to live in a TV show called Fairy Tale. Zap. Okay, thanks. What movie or TV show would you like to live in? The Wolverine. Right along. Okay, thanks, guys. Yeah. What TV show or movie would you like to live in? Double O Seven. What TV show or movie would you like to live in? Finding Nemo. Um, die Hard. Thank you. Awesome answers, Ramsey. Now for the interview with Miss Sawyer. Hello, welcome to the Ramsey interview, and you're and we're with Miss Sawyer. Let's get started. All right. So what do you do here at Ramsey? Here at Ramsey, I teach sixth grade reading and writing, so readers and writers workshop. So why did you choose to teach? I chose to teach because I like working with kids more than adults. Kids are fun, and they ask good questions, and they have room to grow. Uh, and I'll ask you this question. Who was a major influence for you? A major influence. I would say first my parents, my mom and dad. Um, they both, they're both in education and they were both really supportive and they let me be myself when I was a kid growing up. I would also say I had a lot of really good teachers actually here at Ramsey and at um, Central who influenced me um, and really good coaches. Like, I had really good hockey coaches and tennis coaches that made me feel like a good person. Um, so what advice do you have for kids that go to Ramsey? Mm, advice. I think my advice would be to surround yourselves with really good people because I think who you hang out with makes you who you are. Have you thought of a name yet? No, we don't know if we're having a boy or a girl, so I have to think of lots of different names. So we got a question from Mr. Lutz. Okay. What is your favorite potato-based food? That is such a weird question, Mr. Lutz. I would say french fries. The best potato-based food. Well, that's it really. Do you have anything else to, else to say to our students? No, I would just say keep, uh, keep working hard towards the end of the year. It gets tough in the spring, but keep learning. Thank you, Ms. Sawyer. Thank you, Yoshi. Uh, back to you. Thank you once again, Ms. Sawyer. Now for the Rams update with Amy and Lila. Welcome to the Rams update with... Lamy! Also known as Amy and Lila. This week's current standings for badminton are 3-2. and two. They won 5-2 to two against Battle Creek. Baseball's current standing moved from 2-3 to three with a 21-3 win against Battle Creek. Boys and girls track team won on Monday against Battle Creek, Humboldt, and Farnsworth. Today, Webb is going on a field trip to the Festival of Nations at 9 o'clock. We hope you have fun. Now, let's see what's going on at Ramsey. I forgot who was saying this, but when they said um, the drug, just because they're giving drugs, that is saying they still have control. Well, if you guys were in their place, would and you? And honestly, I don't think that the drugs are even working because that's killing them too. I'm Amy. And I'm Lila. And, and we're out. <laughs> oh, and I've been sitting here the whole time. Welcome back to the Ramsey Show for our how to segment. We're going to make some milkshakes. Yeah. Yep. Want to explain it? Yeah, sure. So, uh, what we add into this milkshake, we put in. Uh, Four, four ice cubes, 
two large strawberries and and, and, and a handful of raspberries. Yeah. And then and then we gotta put some milk. So we're gonna say half. Yeah, half. Half of it is milk. Yeah. It's not milk. That already looked like a milkshake. Go ahead. I'm trying to get that child bit. <laughs> That's a milkshake. Here, I thought you was Let's handing it to me. I was going to take Last it. Last step, enjoy. Mm. You didn't get any. We can make, milkshake. we'll make more. We'll make toast. toast. To milk and, empty cup. Not for the PSA. The dance that's happening on May 14th. I'm Cooper, and today we're going to be talking about the last school dance slash activities day which is happening on May 15th. Now, the guidelines for the school activity day is you don't want to have more than five tardies and you don't want to get in trouble. Now, this includes the school dance, sports gym, movie station, which is free, snack station, and table games slash board games. The admission, general admission, will be $3, and if you have zero tardies, suspensions, or dismissals, it will only be $1. If you do not meet the requirements for this uh, school dance, um, you will be sent to a study hall. Well, thanks for joining me, and uh, stay classy, Ramsey. He stole that from me. No, I didn't. I'm Scott. And I'm Michelle. And thank you for watching the Ram Show. We're out. Today, Webb is going on a field trip to FFS Festival Nation. What? <laughs> <laughs> May 15th. Thank you once in. Voice track. Thank you once in. <laughs> like I see, it. I watch those thirty-minute infomercials of them doing this, but I never think I use one. <laughs> what are you doing? We're supposed to say I'm Scott. I'm a talent. Thank you for watching the Ramsey Show. Oh, I'm Cooper, and I'm gonna be going on the school dance for like May fifteenth. Five wins and two losses. <laughs> now for the Rams update with <coughs> Lala and Amy. Almost. Lala and Amy. Chocolate? No. No. Get yeah, food. chocolate. All right. Me over here. I thought we had that last. Chocolate. And then we'll put a drizzle of chocolate. Wait, what? No, remember we're just trying to mute it. What? Why are we muting it? Baseball standing moved up to three. Two. Oh no! It wasn't even high enough.